In this uh, tutorial, we will look at how to use a pitot tube connected with a manometer to measure fluid velocity in a pipe. So here in this uh, diagram, we see a pipe with a fluid flow and we have a pitot tube where the pitot tube is connected to a U-tube manometer. So we have locations 1. 1 represents the tip of the pitot tube. Location 2, which represents the side hole on the pitot tube. Location 3, location 4, and then the location 5, where the manometer fluid has been pushed down because of the uh, pressure. Location 6, which is at the same elevation as location 5, and location 7. Note that the distance between location 3 and 5 is Z1. The distance between location 6 and 7 is Zm. And the distance between location 7 and 4 is Z3. Now if you saw the other tutorial on the pitot tube, notice that the expression we obtained to determine velocity with a pitot tube was Ua equals C, which was the uh, tube coefficient, square root of 2 in parentheses P3 minus P4 divided by rho F. Rho F is the density of the fluid that is flowing in the pipe. Now let's develop an expression for pressures in the U-tube manometer. Since locations 5 and 6 are at the same elevation, that means pressures at location 5 and 6 must be the same. So let's uh, write an expression for pressure at location 5. So pressure at location 5 is P3, that's pressure at location 3, plus rho F times G times Z1. That is due to the fluid that is between locations 3 and 5. The pressure at location 6 is P4, that is pressure at location 4, plus rho F times G times Z3. So that is the uh, pressure of the fluid between locations 4 and 7. And rho M times G times Zm. And that is due to the pressure of the manometer fluid between locations 6 and 7. Now, since the pressures at location 5 and 6 are the same, so we can equate these two expressions. So we have P3 plus rho F G times Z1 equals P4 plus rho F G times Z3 plus rho M G times Zm. Now we can rearrange some of the terms and we can write P3 plus rho F G Z1 minus rho F G Z3 equals rho M G Zm plus P4. We can write the left hand side as P3 plus rho F G in parentheses Z1 minus Z3 equals rho M G Zm plus P4. Now note that Z1 minus Z3 equals Zm. So we have P3 plus rho F G times Zm equals rho M G Zm plus P4. So again rearranging we get P3 minus P4 equals rho M G Zm minus rho F G Zm or P3 minus P4 equals G Zm in parentheses rho M minus rho F end of parentheses. Now we can go ahead and substitute for P3 minus P4 in our equation that we had obtained in the previous tutorial. So we get Ua equals C where C is the coefficient for the pitot tube square root of 2GZm in parentheses rho M minus rho F end of parentheses divided by rho F. So to determine the fluid velocity 
at location A with a pitot tube, we need to know the tube coefficient C. We also need to know, if we are using a manometer, the displacement of the manometer fluid, Zm. We need to know the densities of the manometer fluid as well as the fluid itself. And then using this expression, we can calculate the velocity Ua at location A. Now note that this velocity is the point velocity, it is not the average velocity. So if we were to find the average velocity with a pitot tube, we will have to measure the velocity at several points in that pipe. And there are methods to do that which we will cover in a different tutorial.